more construction pros from Con Expo 17 right here at the Las Vegas Convention Center. And folks, I'm with John Sweetwood, who's the strategic sales manager for CCTY Bearings. John, welcome aboard. Thank you. Good to meet you. Glad to be here. Thank you very much for having me. Well, I'll tell you what, John brings a unique product to the Con Expo show this year and something that all of the OEMs are really thinking about and looking at, and that's just a unique square ball universal joint, which I'd never heard of until you showed up. Well, it's, it's brand new. In fact, this is actually the fourth generation of, of prototypes right here. So okay. uh, we actually have this on test in an agricultural environment right now. It's been on test for the last week, doing All very right. well, and, and we have high expectations for it. And your effort, of course, is to move into the construction trade. Yes, it is, both. We serve uh, ag and, and uh, construction, a uh, very strong customer base for us on both ends. All right, so what, per, what preceded you to get this involved? And, and at least in the design, which has got to be a tremendous amount of work. Uh, really, it was a customer that said they were having a problem with their un universal joints that uh, were failing about three months after warranty. And uh, we had solved so many problems for this customer in the past uh, on bearing related issues. They asked if we could take a look at it from a bearing manufacturer approach. Sure. So uh, we kept mulling it over and about eight months later, uh, I kind of had one of those aha moments when I was just studying the movement of a, a universal joint. Right. And really, it looks complicated, but the two movements are just this and this. And when you combine them together, you, you get the full rotation through the angle. Absolutely. So when I was looking at it like this and this, I, I was sitting next to our head of engineering and I said, you know, hit him in the arm and said, Rich, we need a square ball. And, and he looked at me like I was a little crazy <laughs> because uh, what is a square ball? Right, well, is a square ball. The beautiful thing is the torque transfers around the square features uh, from one rod end or one yoke to the other. And, and it also, the round features allow the yokes to, to pivot as and, they need to and, go through the angle. And can I interject here? Does the speed of the revolution have a bearing on that? Uh, it, it will, because there, there's a, a general measure for a, a slide bearing with a PV, they call the right. pressure times the velocity. Uh, so you, you use that to help get an idea if, if it's going to work for the application, and that'll help determine the sizing of everything too for, for the application. But right now the focus has been in the steering application where it's an intermittent, you know, two or three times to the right, two or three times yeah, to the left. Exactly. It needs to be a compact design and still transfer torque uh, very smoothly without a lot of backlash. Uh, in the steering applications, they don't want it to, to feel where this one's, the bottom one's stationary and the top can move. So, so. you don't see this as a, a, a snapping potential at all? No, we don't. Uh, this particular unit uh, on testing you know, it's, it's a small unit, and it, right. it didn't start having, uh, didn't start to yield until about 285 foot-pounds. On the publications, we downed that a little bit for safety factors, but right. um, the break-apart torque uh, before it came into two pieces was at 510 foot-pounds. My goodness! So it um, it withstands quite a bit above what the the point of yield is, but um, it, it, the advantage is it's so smooth. Being a bearing manufacturer we're used to holding tens of thousands of tolerances all day long. With only three moving components, we can hold very consistent sizing between, it, between the units and not have to worry about tolerance stacking. Sure. In a typical U-joint, uh, you'll see hundreds of components and you'll run into tolerance stack up issues that change the uh, consistency of the rotational torque you'll get from one unit to the next. Uh, with this, we'll have very consistent low rotational torques. On, on this unit here, it is 0 0.025 newton meters of rotational torque and on anything 25 degrees or less. It, it's almost, uh, it, it's actually getting to the point where it's difficult to measure the, the resistance of it. Now, where do you see the utilization for this? In, in any specific type of equipment or just across the board? Well, the, the first market is the one that, that was uh, the original thought, and that's the steering industry. Uh, so for your tilt steering wheels right. and, and for the steering linkage that goes from the steering wheel uh, down to the pinion, uh, there's other applications where, where valves are remotely located, the shutoff valve, um, uh, that would be one. We, we have ordered new testing equipment, so once we get that in, it'll be about three, four months. Uh, we can start doing more testing for durability in, in a, a drive shaft or prop shaft application. 
um, but we we don't have the equipment to test that part right now so it's in the future we'll see how we can get with that but, but you're thinking at least at this point in time is this particular device is going to resolve a lot of problems that are now inherent with ball joints well, it's because it's so few components, we expect the cost to be competitive on it compared to the others. The assembly is very simple. Uh, anytime you can simplify something, you increase the reliability of it also. Right. There's fewer parts that uh, have to be checked to make sure they're all in spec, and, and uh, just the operation of it is... No, you obviously you have, haven't sealed this one simply for... Uh, display purposes, I'll say that, but 90% of them or, mo or most all or 100% will be sealed? I expect every one of them to be sealed. And are you using any kind of a special grease? Uh, it'll be dependent on the application. Uh, okay. if, so if it's going to be in some colder environments, we're going to want to yeah. use greases that are, are suitable for those. Yeah. Without getting so thick, it starts right. to change right. the resistance. But right. um, uh, we, we do a lot of manuf uh, steering and, and uh, suspension components for ATVs, UTVs, golf carts, right. snowmobiles. Uh, well, it's so, endless, isn't it? Yeah, so it, it, uh, we have to pay attention to the environment that right. they're used in right. uh, for the greases that are used in it, and, and uh, the seal will help hold that in. And, and we're, we're working on a brand new seal design. This was just the initial one to, to get it started, but. We, we do expect to have some pretty high IP ratings on the, the new seal that we'll come up with that uh, um, we Well, you bring a fascinating message to the show. I imagine you've had a lot of traction at your booth. We've had some interesting customers come by. Yeah. But, uh, we hope it turns into something fruitful. We do too. John Sweetwood, who is with CCTV Bearings, and this is quite a unique little product there. I would suggest that it's possible you're going to revolutionize this market. <laughs> we hope so. Very good. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you, too. And Thank thanks you for a your lot. Time. From Con Expo 17.